Natasha. <laughs> Natasha! Do you know something about Natasha? Uh-huh. Can I tell you? Please. Mm. Natasha was a, a former as if Miss Uganda. Ah, uh-uh, either you're a Miss Uganda or you're not. And that's why I said as if. As if she was almost, almost, almost. <laughs> am I lying? Come on, what? And, am I lying? No, okay, I'm not lying. Uh-huh. lying. And I was shocked that she did not win. Who is that that beat you? Uh, she's called Victoria Nawin. I need to see a picture of Victoria. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? <laughs> My girl. Hey. No, I still think you're the most beautiful girl in the world. I agree. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we need to audit the judges of that Miss Uganda. Because they are not okay. <laughs> and that was when she was young. And look at her now. Still looking damn good. I, I was waiting you to finish this. Bit. It was not going to end well, by the way. The way that started. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers, Cheers, my dear. Cheers. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, Kawa. I'm fantastic. Good to have you here. Good to be here. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to the last round, darling. Um, I've, I've two seemingly personal questions to ask. Okay. If you don't want to answer, I say, Marcus, by the way, fuck off. If you hey, can answer. That. Yes, 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 you can. Oh, okay. If, say it. Uh, say it. Wama, don't say it if you don't mean it. Mm, Question, number <laughs> <laughs> Question number one. Question number one. Um, uh, are you a parent? Yes, I am. Number two is, are you with the father or your single parent? I'm a single parent. See, they're not too bad. They're simple questions. The reason I ask is, mm-hmm. I read a survey, Gaetano, that said people, is it a boy or girl? Boy. Child? Boy. Yeah. People who grew up in single parent homes don't eventually make good spouses. Yeah. And the reasoning behind this Hmm. was because they sort of don't get, what's the word, a holistic approach to how a household is run. Yes. There's no mommy, daddy. Mm -hmm. They have their one perception. Like now your son probably believes my mom is super woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not your Ah, super woman. (laughs) (laughs) And therefore, it could be a good thing or a bad thing when he is of mature age. Either he will expect to find a woman who is like his mom, who in other words is a super woman. Mm-hmm. I'm not a super <laughs> woman. Sorry, I think you see what I go through. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Yeah. <laughs> or he'll be overcompensating. And the same is true with girls. Yeah. If a girl grows up with a single mom, when her time comes to be a wife she might not know for lack of another way to put it her role in the union because she grew up with a single mother who has been doing it all and then there's this young man who is telling me now you must be the one who stays around this and cooks and manage like listen to this fool mm-hmm. did you know how i was brought up yeah i was brought up by a woman who did it all so don't give me your rubbish blah, 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 blah. you know what i mean mm-hmm. so i don't know if there's any truth to that i i, 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 I don't know what you think i don't know but uh, i would just speak uh, for the boy I have at the age is that mm. I just adopted a method to it's, it doesn't be, the moment you become single and you become a single mom you just have to change everything and find because you don't you're not taught how to be a mother but you just have to find you a learn way. on the job exactly so when now you become mom and now dad mm. you have to find a way to make sure that you can fit in the roles and you don't try to be daddy daddy and mm. but you just try to be able to talk like the communication has to change mm. you have to have an open communication with your with your child because they need to know that where you come from or you have to understand your situation you're not with your dad i'm not with your dad so this is how things work is That's the alternative to find them other possible male figures that are around your role life models. Yes. role models and then see if they can then bring out that part in them yes but you become very critical at that time because you're like there's some uncles you look at and you're like Rubbish, rubbish. Yeah, so they, they are such uncles, they are such cousins. You don't want them around him because you just know he's vulnerable because he has no dad. So it's easy for him to pick anything around. Mm. So it, you just have to find a method. So, so, so because you have a son, mm. yeah, uh, you're a single mom. Uh, and by the way, 
More power to you. More power to you. <laughs> You're a single mother. If it had been a girl, would it have been any different? Because it's a boy and therefore, you know, there's... Uh, Needs a father figure. A father figure with a lady, with a girl. I, I don't know. Does it make it any different? Yes. If your son had been a boy. I mean, if your son had been a guy. <laughs> <laughs> it, when, it, I was just going to ask the same question. <laughs> this. Are we drinking this? Yeah, my you son get is a boy. I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if we, it... It is different. I, I will say this because with boys, you know how you are with your mom. It's like, oh, mommy, I'll help you with this and da da da. Uh, I don't think he wants, he would want a strong woman like the mom. But the girls want to be the mom. Like they would want to show. Copy paste, mommy. You understand? Mm -hmm. And I think they, if you don't talk to your girls, they become even way worse than the women we are because they are like they own a revenge journey. Actually, like, I need to show these men, like, what I can do. And if you don't talk to them and tell them, okay, yes, fine, it failed with me and your dad. Mm. But mm. this is not every man out there. Yes. Yeah, this is how... Because at the end of the day, we have to teach them how to be in marriages or how... Because I would say I was never told that. Mm. So I easily... I would easily say... <laughs> Easily dismissive. Somebody, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you, you came from a family where you had siblings. Yes. You've got brothers. Yeah. You've got sisters. No, I have a brother. You have a brother. So yeah. you come, basically, you, there's somebody there, a sibling who you can yeah. do mm. your thing with. Mm. I come from a very big family. Yeah. A very big. In fact, some brothers are out there, I don't even know where you are, who you are, <laughs> where you are. Marcus, don't lie. Are you sure you know any brothers and sisters? <laughs> I, if I don't know them, I don't know them. Now it's not my fault. But the ones I know, I know. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Um, and I, I, I understand the value of having these siblings. That shoulder to lean yeah. on. You as a parent who is single and seeing that child alone, don't you ever think to yourself, ah, maybe I should go back and bend over, bend over, bend over and get another <laughs> child? Um... <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm giving yeah, you permission you. to abuse. Permission to abuse, like please. Okay, Freely. I, don't do, I don't do bend over, bend over, but it's all right. <laughs> but, Lord the bastard. <laughs> no, it's, I, I really never thought of it that way because I felt like, okay, maybe at the stage I was at at that time as a parent, I didn't want any more, um, I, didn't, I just didn't want to have kids with just anyone because you know you have to be an example to your child mm. like you just don't date you just don't oh now because i want a sibling for you let me just go and have a sibling it's mm. if you want your son to grow up to be a great man or uh, a daughter to be a great woman you just have to make sure even you yourself have to be an example yes you just don't have to like dating is not easy mm. when you're a single parent mm. you, you, you understand the examples you bring in like you have to bring in men who are worth like, Mm. so that they can see the example of the man that he uh, like the man he wants to be yeah so yeah it's 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 not something that has been easy for me to say that hmm, bend over bend over like you say uh no it hasn't been easy so, <laughs> so it's just that i i you you come from you your sieve becomes mm. really tight so, mm -hmm. yeah. and look i take nothing away from single parents, be it a, a mother or a father. Mm. I can imagine a father, though, trying to raise a girl. A girl. <laughs> By himself. Mm. I think the girl raises the dad. After a certain age. Yes, because, it, no, even when they even are... Even when they are three, four. Because uh, you see, the one thing is girls, like, roll you around here mm. as, as a dad. Mm. So... You think you're the one doing everything for her, but she's making you do she's the actually thing. the yeah. one... Yeah, and with I think, girls. Well, yeah. I think that's where the trick of, of, of a single father with a girl comes in because you also have to understand that as much as I love this girl and I'll do anything for her, I also need to do what's best for mm -hmm. her to bring her into the world to be a respectable woman. Which is not, not a easy. spoiled brat. Mm -hmm. Because a spoiled girl at an early age becomes a problem of a woman. Oh. <laughs> this is a fact. Oh. But I was spoiled. Oh. I'm not a problem. Anyway, most spoiled the <laughs> guys become problems of women. Most. Of course, there's an exception to the rule. Yes. But, but so I think then, in, if, if everything you have said is true, Natasha, is that the statistic that we had was actually true. Yeah, it is. It is. It is, it is almost, it is hard. Yeah. Because think about it this way, Gaetano. Gaetano, you've grown up in this household uh, that has this kind of rules and that. Let's just give, for example, sake. You had a dad who was doing all the working and you had a stay-home mom. Okay? Example number one. Yes. You meet uh, Natasha, who has also two parents, 
Um, but she, both parents were working. Okay? Uh, Everybody brought food to the table. Yes. Yes. You have grown up knowing, as a man, mm. it is my job to provide. Mm. Madam can stay home. Mm. It's okay. She has grown up knowing, hello, please. Uh. I am not stupid. I must go and also bring something to the table. Fair enough. Okay? Yeah. Now, the two of you have come together. You're starting a union together. Uh. Bend over, bend over, bend over. And after bend then over. you finish, bend over, bend over. Mm. You have children. Mm. Yeah. But the conversation about how that household runs is different in your perspective and different in your perspective. Yeah, this is true. True. And most times, most people don't have that conversation. They just yeah. go, they like each other, bend yes. over, and there. Yes. Then you start boxing. But I'm going to work. But why are you working? And you stay home. Because of that's how you perceive a union to be. And she perceives And she it. perceives it completely different. And none of you had that conversation. Now imagine if there's single parenthood involved. I've given you an example where both of you have both parents. Just different scenarios of both parents. Mm. Now imagine single father, single mother. Those are the children you have brought up. They have gone. Then those children meet. Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey. their, their, their mindset is totally, totally skewed. Totally yes. different. But don't you think that is what exactly is going to happen? Because I, I see so many. Like if I sit at a table, we are like three now. Out of ten. You understand? Like before, it used to be yeah, you'd be none. standing out alone, yeah, or alone. But now it's so. There are actually very many. Yeah. yeah, there's so many. Like you'd be five on the table, all of you are single mothers. Why are there more? What is, is the cause of increasing single mothers in Uganda? Give me your take. I, I, can I also? No, are you a single mother? <laughs> but I'm four. And you are there quite empty. I have an opinion. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Why do you think this is the case? Like you said, a long time ago it was one. Now you'll be three, four on a table out of ten. I, I think... Uh, and it seems to be increasing. Yeah, I think we're a very selfish generation. Like, we don't want to work on things. We want to compromise. Yeah. Very selfish. Haven't you always been selfish? As a generation. Mm, as a generation, I'm saying. Again, I, uh, haven't you always been no, selfish? No. The generation has just started. No, but because it, I'll tell you this. Like, anything that happens, you just don't want to go on the table and talk about it. You just, like, make decisions. Ah, just, fuck it, go. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Like, we, yeah. like, these are the things. That's why I always say, like, if as a parent, you have to teach your child. If you're going to meet someone, don't go with these expectations you have in your home. Go knowing that you're finding someone different Completely from a different, different home. Mm -hmm. And all these things, just don't bend people. Like, these are things we need to be taught or you need to teach your kids. Because right now, uh, I will say this. Uh, I, I find like I cannot give my son an example of a man right now and say, oh, look at that man, he's great. Because men nowadays don't want their responsibilities. Are these the men of today or yeah, are today. these the it's men of me and Marcus who are solid? Y you're solid? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For once I'm with him. Yeah, our generation. Our generation. Solid. Solid, yeah. Solid, man. No, it's, it's, it's the generation of like the one that is on right now. Gen Z? Gen Z? Gen Z are younger. I think millennials. 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 Yeah. 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 Those. Like they, y y even when you get to responsibilities, if someone says, okay, I will do this or the other, the man is like, mm -mm. I think that kid wants a lot of money. Like they mm. always have an excuse to mm. bring up their kids. So to that's, run, mm. yeah. To run away from the responsibility. Yes, exactly. So, it just forces the woman to just say, you know what, let me do this. Because you can't have that back and forth. Can I ask you another question? Please Since do. you've answered that one so eloquently. Yes. It's the word eloquent. <laughs> you can't. <clears throat> if a single child yeah. hmm, asks their parent, where is daddy? Why don't I have a daddy? Or why don't I have a mommy? Maybe they... they yeah. uh, having said that, because maybe... Let's say the other partner has not passed on. They're there. Yeah, they're, yeah, there. they're there. But you are not together and this person only stays with you. Yeah. How do you answer a question like that without... I know most that have killed them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the easy part. Oh, yeah, yeah. daddy died. Really? Yeah, oh, in an accident. Yes. Oh. You mm. killed him? Yeah, yeah, you killed him. They Why? killed him. Uh, <clears throat> oh, wait, uh, actually, the answer I got, because he's dead to me. Where? That's but, the answer I got once. But you see, that's... Why did you have to do that? Because he's dead to me. So is it that bad? You see, that's using anger. But you forget that where you're going, this kid is going to ask you, oh, meet the father. Maybe at one point, mm. you become that bad parent now. You become bad mommy. Because the dad will say, you see, mm -hmm. she's a bad mom. Mm -hmm. That's why she killed me off. Like, there's so many things. Like, you just, you have to be very, very careful. Yes. 
And especially well, for you who was a boy, he's gonna want his to find out about his dad. At some yeah, point. they Any, do. Yeah. They do talk. Like I, you see, the thing is, you have to leave that. Because for you, have told the truth. It's yes, there, yes. It's not together. Blah, blah, blah. You have to tell the truth because believe uh, our kids live on the internet. They see these things every day. If you're not honest with them and tell them, you know what? Yes, it happened to me you and your dad. You. This is what happened to me and your dad. You understand? Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's a, another question. And you <laughs> yes. drink your beer. You All guys right. are so drinkers. You guys are. Organize yourself. Organize your throat. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your question? My question is this. You're raising your son. Mm -hmm. You're a single mother. Mm -hmm. You're doing a damn good job. Raising him up fine, blah, 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 blah. Then he says, you know what, mom? And of course, I'm, I'm assuming, if he wants to go see his dad, yeah. you allow it. Yes. Then one day, son says to mommy, mom, mm -hmm. I want to go and be with dad. <laughs> I want to go and stay with dad. You've done all the hard work, but now he's saying, I want to go be with my father. Mm. I'm saying your son, because there's a whole yes, thing of my father, son. You know, what do you do as a mother? Do you say, go ahead? Having banged all the muchachs. <laughs> and now he's 12 uh, and 13, la, and he believes la, la, now, la, 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 la. I must go. Um, How old is your son? Uh, 17. I'm saying, Jamukudo, you are yeah. He's a voter almost. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine? Taller yeah. than me and all that. He's a voter of the same party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I'll tell you this. Well, as parents, we're very, very selfish. Mm -hmm. uh, because you know you've done the work and you want this boy to go a certain direction, it would really hurt. Mm. If he just says, you would want to know why do you want to stay with your dad? after you were not with your dad for this long. Mm. And why also, now? Yeah, why now? And also depends on the relationship you as the mom have with the dad. Because if, if you have a good relationship, because I, I think as single parents, we really need to have good relationships with our... We need to bury the Yeah, hatches, like, yes. I don't see why when we share kids, we should go through this roller coaster of like, okay, you left me. What? Did you need okay, it? okay. Like, mm -hmm. If the relationship is good with... Of course you want to say, yeah, you went. But mm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say, if the relationship is strained with... The Definitely, I wouldn't of, want. I wouldn't want. But myself. the child wants it. Okay, the yes. child wants it, and he's reached an age where he's saying, "Mom." You see, this, the thing is, this our job is to protect our kids even from themselves. That's it. Because if if you know that if he goes to stay with the dad, things are just going to go south. I would rather I would rather hurt him for just five minutes, and I know he will see the the nini the results when he grows up. So I just I I would be very selfish and be like, "No, you can't stay with your wow. dad." Because I just don't want him to turn And then, up, and then there's a resentment out. as uh, me as your child who's a, a single, uh, your single mother, there's a resentment that might build up. She won't let me see my father. I will let you see him, but I will not let you leave Live with him. Live with him. Okay, she won't let me leave with my father. Yeah. I hate you, mom. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, honey, they say that all the time. You think it's going to be the first time? <laughs> you didn't hear what she said to protect you? you from yourself? They say they hate you every week. <laughs> <laughs> like mommy oh my god you don't love me. i hate you they do that all the time mm. you're going to hate me until when mm. Mm. but yeah, you, you, will you, understand. You, you know they don't mean it after yeah the it's just, emotionally speaking yeah. so, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. so they will they will definitely understand because uh, the reason we break up with people is because they, they no longer feed us anymore they no longer the purpose is not there they are not the people you want to live with so you don't want your child to grow up to be like the person you didn't like I have another question. Yes, please. <laughs> I have another question. As you, what are your, mm. your, 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 your so far? Uh -huh. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Your son, mm -hmm. and this is a bit personal, yeah. but you know, we're adults here. Mm -hmm. Well, some of us anyway. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> your son, yes. there comes a time when the testosterone kicks in. Yeah. Oh, no, no, the guy wakes up with a hard on. Mm. But he doesn't understand mm. what a hard on is. Mm. All of a sudden, he has a wet dream. A swah! Mm. And it happens. You are a lady. You mm. don't know about hard ones, what you do, but not in that sense. What wet dreams are those you had that way? I swah. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying? I got, I got you. How do you have that conversation, you as a single mother, about hard ones and wet dreams? Or, okay. or, or, or anything masculine, generally. That, okay. Yeah, that's... Listen, uh, I... I, I think it's a relationship I built with my child from when he was a baby. I made sure that we have even the hard conversations. Let's talk about it. everything. His first kiss, he came and told me about it. His first hard on, he came running with it. And he was like, because what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry, I'm putting my son on blast, but <laughs> he, he, 
found it easier to talk to me about such stuff. Wow. So I also found it like you find it hard to have these conversations with your kid because really you're just going to go deep because there's a follow up question. Yeah, always. it's always this, and then the follow up question, and that you have to be very. You have to allow yourself to have those difficult conversations, and I do. I I, I yeah. talk. I, I talk about. I if I feel like it's really really hard for me, I have a brother. I mm. tell him like, you know what, Alex, have this conversation. Or when you talk to your father on phone, mm. ask, ask him, this conversation. Ask yes. this if you feel like you really want to talk about it. So he, it, he makes the decision, but he first comes to me to tell me, "Mommy, this is what's up." I wonder how that conversation would be for a single father. With a, with a girl raising a girl and, and she's her, having her period. period. But, but that's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's difficult the same way. No, when I, can, I can imagine, Marcus. Is uh, it, uh, uh, so now... Uh, do you know what, how uh, to explain a wet dream as a man? Yes. Uh, no. Oh, I do. No. As, as a as, man. As, to uh, explain to your son. As a mom. A what mom. as a man? Why, well, how, did you, how did you do it? Exactly. What did you say? What did you say? When your son had a wet dream, what did you tell him? Uh, you talk about it like you read about it in the school. <laughs> what do you Biology 101. Natasha said, when I've been able to be about the end. Wow. I can imagine me trying to explain if I had a daughter. But you have no choice. Saying, okay, so the, the, the period is because uh -huh. uh, you are now as if That's a woman. That's how you're going to do it, mm. Wow. So, yeah. no. so as, as a young child. girl growing up, this happens, and without going to the science of many ovaries, many what, 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 what. So okay, look, uh, I really need, like Auntie uh, Janet. <laughs> where are you? <laughs> Just, come, <laughs> come, come on. Yes, it was. Let me turn the, the table. To you. So you can't tell your daughter that. I would be flabbergasted and overgasted. Was <laughs> it flabbergasted and overwhelmed? <laughs> that one. The latter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know how I'll do it. I honestly don't know. But when push comes to shove, you figure it out. You, yeah. You, you would have figure it out. It's not like anybody had trained and said, when your son gets a hard one, this is what you say. When your son gets a fast whisper, this is what you go about it. No, of course but not. All the but first, you know. the first reaction when they come to you is like, oh my God, hmm. how do I do this? What I, now? I, what do I say? Am I going to say the right things? I mean, say something and it takes him off. Let you, me tell you, the most difficult conversation is sex. It is. Yeah, it is. Sex. Like at an age of when you know that they, they, they are thinking, yeah. Thinking about it. I, 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 I haven't had mine yet. <laughs> yeah. I, I look at us. <laughs> Touch wood. I, I haven't had mine yet. Imagine. My birds and bees talk. I haven't. Not fully anyway. I, oh. I did surface. Do you know what I thought you were going to say? I haven't had sex yet. No, yeah. you have not had a wet dream. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Do you know I remember my first wet dream? Oh. God, it was epic. <laughs> <laughs> It was epic. Mm. Marcus, I had no idea what happened. Uh, yeah. I woke up sticky things all over me. I love you guys. I want to myself. What has happened? What is this? <laughs> I ran to my brother. Yuzi! Yuzi! Oh god. Oh anyway, my god. Let's not go there. But we've gone there. Yeah, we are yeah, finished. We're finished there. We're finished. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, in a nutshell, I think we should just tell every because single parenthood seems to be on the rise, like you said. Yeah, it is. For whatever reason, I like you said before, just very impatient and, and forgiving these days. But I think the only takeout we can get from this is if we can just need to find a way to be a bit more accommodating. Yeah, yeah, we have. But to. after the single parenthood thing is done, okay, so it's done. So we have separated. It's done. They should. We need to understand that we are both parents. Yes, exactly. So even though I can't stand you, you can't stand me, we both have something that we need to manage. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And, and, so and, remove and the hatred, and that's what remove that's whatever it is, you go do you, I do me in our space, yeah. but when we meet here, we do what's best. Yeah, because even that thing... Without having to kill each other. That yeah. thing, We're getting ensconced. Yes. Without having to kill each other for that child. Yeah, it brings the, the example, like if you see two parents together, like, oh, your mom and your dad are not together, but they talk and they interact. Mm -hmm. It's also a good example for the child ahead. Like if yeah. they meet a woman, they'll treat yeah. them better. Yeah. Like they'll understand. Yeah. Your son is going to grow up to be a very, very powerful and strong young man. Yes, he is. Well done. Listen, we do have to go and we want to say thank you so much for being with us here on the last round. It's shot here at Shisanyama Village, of course, with Globetech and Ray uh, UG. I want to thank you.
Racing mm-hmm. Beauty, sorry. Mm-hmm. I want to thank you all so much. Every single week, we put out an episode. Remember, a big thank you to Tasca Malt Lager, who are official partners now. Thank you so much. Remember, as you do drink, drink responsibly. The hashtag is the last round UG. And those are the same, same words for the handles Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. On YouTube, go down there, click that cabell. It'll always tell you when the new episode is up and running. Until next week, guys. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much, thank darling. You. Thank you, Natasha. And so much. continue doing what yes. you do. Thank Absolutely. You. And let's drink to, you know, the first wet dream. Yeah. Uh, is, to chicks, is it called a wet dream also? Eh? Huh? Yeah. What is it called? Eh. <laughs> uh, something. <laughs> ah! I actually don't know. I was supposed to do you actually know? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Like, but then what is that thing called? But do we even need? Don't you? Uh, uh, do you remember? Oh, 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 do you remember yours? No, she doesn't. Cause she don't even remember. It's not a thing. Is it a thing? <laughs> it's exactly. Not a thing. Like I'm, I'm it's not a thing. Is it a, no, it's not a thing. It's not. Yeah. It's a thing. No, it's a thing. we do it's, it's, it's a thing. No, you wake up and the bed is wet. That's a guy thing. Not, oh, not, not our thing. It's not our thing. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I know you can lie to us. It's okay. No, seriously. <laughs> like we don't. <laughs> But eh, eh, sticky. What's that? Okay, forget the sticky part. That's just nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but you can do that with the eh, eh, sleeping in. Eh. <laughs> 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 Wait, <we're good. laughs> Wait, <we're good. laughs> before you go, mm-hmm. guys, did you see this? See what? This picture. I don't know if you want to be the one to tell the guy or. This is a picture of a bride and groom. Mm. So I have a, I have a question mm. for the bride. Uh huh. You know when the man is posing for this particular picture, <laughs> they face this side. Yeah. Why is he on the other side? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Should we be the ones to tell her? Yeah, we need to tell her. Oh, we need to like, find out ourselves. Basically, have you seen the guy's hand? Eh? He's about to just touch the knee and do a little bit of this. And then, eh? <laughs> the way. You know what, eh? I think the wife escorted the husband to his uh, Probably. <laughs> oh, to, the, to, the, to the best man. Yeah, let's. First of all, look, look at this. Look at where this guy is handy. Really? Is it this obvious to the right? But maybe we're overreading into things. No, 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 no. <laughs> Even <laughs> Natasha has seen that there's nothing yeah, over there. <laughs> as you see, it's as easy. The guy is not even holding the wife. Any, like the hand is here, the other one is on the guy's butt. So that night, this night, mm. where did this Guy. your wife sleep? Eh. She slept outside. Eh. <laughs> and he was inside. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, wow, that, that could be so traumatizing. Yeah. My what?